Hey, it's your girl, Luscious Barbie. It's Let's Talk Dallas. It's all good with the productions, and we're here today with Lil' Camo. Nope. How you doing? First of all, thanks for coming to Let's Talk Dallas. It's all good. And yeah. let us know where you from. From Louisiana, man, from Louisiana to be exact, you know, little small city. Just trying to do something, make it up out of it, you know. Okay, what brings you to Dallas? Me and my brother really just trying to get the music stuff popped off, really just hitting the road, trying to pull up everywhere we can, talk to whoever we can for right now until they start calling up. Okay. How would you explain your rap style? I'd say versatile, lyrical, street, gutter, like, I really can do whatever, but you know what I'm saying, it don't even got to be on no different song. You can hear it all in one. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's the difference by me, really, like. I don't got to be on no certain song for you to hear certain stuff. I can put it all together on one song. What made you start rapping? I've been rapping since I was like nine years old. Really, I used to see my Uncle Rudy and my big cousin. Them, they had their own record label called Off The Hook Entertainment. So, really, I just been around music all my life, man. The will say. Okay, you said you've been rapping since you was nine? Yeah. Tell us about the time when you were signed to the record label. Like, when I was young, it was a little record label called Tape Music Group. They had hit me up or whatever, but I was young. So I ain't really know what was going on then. Like they was kind of telling me they were gonna sign me, but they wanted me to pay for everything. So oh, we ain't wow. really go with it. But you know what I'm saying? Like that was just one little label deal I had on the table, really I guess so to say when I first started. But I always been signed to my brother though. You know what I'm saying? We had a little music group called Young Rich's Record when we were young. Mm. And me and my cousins all signed to him. So I been signed to my brother all my life, really. Okay. Do you feel like it's easier in the music industry to be signed with family? Yeah, yeah, I'll say it. Like, if it's your brother or somebody that love you, yeah, and yeah. you know they do, yeah. Yeah, because they can get grimy yeah. and all of that. But, right. you know, definitely if it's somebody that trusts you, For sure. you know, it's better. What uh, what artists do you look forward to working with? I'd probably say... Really, nobody, really. Like, I got a couple of homeboys that like to do music. I try to put them on, you know what I'm saying? Let them get on some song with me. But really, just not nobody big, like... It's a nigga named Rilo Rodriguez from Alabama. Like, I be fucking with him music. Like, he's mm. great. I fuck with him. But really, just nobody. Really, just I'm trying to take myself off. Okay. Get some stuff jumped out for me and my nigga. Okay. All right, all right. Okay, so we got to do a Let's Talk Dallas exclusive. So, this right here is. So, what's going to happen is. You're going to dig in this jar right here. It's like our bucket list. For sure. And you pick any question. You got to answer the question, regardless of what it is. Now, there's some crazy stuff in there. Yeah. You got to answer the question, or if you don't answer the question, you got to take a shot. That's okay. So you can pick in there and make sure you mix it all up and get the right one, because you got to answer it. Alright. What is that? I don't know. It's a like starve to death or eat some for life. Or eat human for the yeah, rest of your life. Yeah, or eat. No, I'm probably gonna starve. <laughs> Damn, you know? to death? Yeah, I'm probably gonna starve. <laughs> okay. I get another one, I don't think that one good. Yeah, okay, get another one, that's fine. Let's see what they're talking about. Would you rather swallow a balloon or worm or swallow a cup of your best friend's snack? I think I'm probably gonna swallow the worm. A balloon full of worms. Yup. Oh my God, you savage. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I was like, yep. I would have took the shot. Maybe you were not feel factor. So know what I'm saying, man. I can't swallow no snack. Right, but that oh, factor. That's for money though. But you just like, <laughs> I guess. Okay, you said it. And if you could pick any porn man, what would it be? Hold <laughs> <I don't know>. up. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. That's a hard. You don't um, know? I don't know, man. Probably. I don't know. <laughs> I can't even know. <laughs> okay, he don't got a name. <laughs> Probably hot rod or something. Hot rod. <laughs> something like that. You know. That's creative. That's creative. You can take that in so many different ways. Yeah. <laughs> you can take that in so many different ways. <laughs> Okay. Something like that. <laughs> and what do you feel like motivates you uh, or motivates you to just keep going and to keep doing music since a young age? That easy. Like, my big brother, him, my little brother, he ain't here right now. He at school. But Kyle, he play a football player. You know okay. what I'm really, just my two brothers and a couple of my homeboys, like, they always made sure I ain't never get too far from it to stop doing it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I always made sure I was 
you know what I'm saying, messing with it some type of way. Okay. So really my big brother and my little brother didn't cover my own boy, they always made sure I stayed on it. So okay. do. Tell us about your upcoming mixtape. I just dropped a little four song EP on my mixtape last Monday. I think it done hit like 5,000 right now. I'm finna drop another tape in like three weeks. My manager told me, you know what I'm saying? I don't got no name for it. I just been recording, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I'm like six songs in. I might do 10 or 12. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just gonna keep flooding. Like, drop that, then drop a couple videos, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to stay relevant on the internet, really. But, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm probably gonna drop another tape like in about the next two to three weeks. As soon as I get a name, it gonna be all over the internet. Okay. You feel like uh, social media is like a major major so, part of your career. So, but people be saying it, and then people forget about the script. Like, people just be feeling like social media, just everything, like, it's probably, I feel like it go 50-50, like, you on social media and in the script. I feel mm. like it just all go together. I don't feel like it's what people say, it's it just all social media. Like, you gotta be out here still, too. Right, I feel like that's important. Like, a lot of people do feel like it's all about social media, but I feel mm. like you still have to touch hands yeah, with the people, you and, you know, still. you still have to have physical copies of your CDs, which a lot of people like, uh, people don't have CD players, but you never know whose hands that could touch, no, you know. Yeah. So I feel like that's important, too. So... What's, I got, let's see. If your mom had four kids, right? Mm. We got peanut butter, jelly, salt, and who else? Water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna say it again because I be talking fast, so I'm happy you ain't here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said it right. <laughs> okay. Yep. Your mom had four kids. Peanut butter, jelly, salt, and who else? Hot salt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the fourth person would be you. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> yup. He said water. That's I said fine. water That's first because everybody need water. I said hot sauce, cause hot sauce put flavor, you know what I'm saying, yeah. And the peanut butter and jelly. See, you know what I'm saying, I thought, <laughs> I thought, I thought, see, I thought you was, you know what I'm saying, as personality. Right. I thought you was using, you know what I'm saying. That's clever. Yeah, but that's, that's what I thought you was using today. Mm -hmm. That was clever, but no, I was just like, that name was peanut butter jelly, so. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, but a lot of people, be, I get all different type of answers. I just want, to, that was a new one. Water, <laughs> Yeah, was see, I thought you were using, like, all right, peanut butter, that's one person, person that, mm. you know what I'm saying, salt, that's one person, but I, you know what I'm saying, I see what you would That's a good way to break it down. What's your social media, is how they can find you and all of that. My Instagram, real fat, baby. I got a little Twitter, but I don't really be on that. Really, you could just touch me on Instagram, really, real fat, baby, and then just, Real the number five and baby, then you can add me on Facebook at Daniel Rich. I don't really be on that no. Okay, and make sure while you in Dallas, you go ahead and get with DJ Good with it behind the cam. He shoot all sure. the music videos for it, pretty much everybody that's popping. So make sure you get that done. Sure. And we thank you so much for coming to Let's Talk Dallas. Sure. We appreciate that. You know, it's your girl for having me. Barbie. Of course, it's your girl Luscious Barbie. It's all good with it. TV DJ Good with it behind the cam. You already know. Stay tuned till next time.